Wayne here with Shy County Locksmith Service and today we're going to go over lubrication. Uh, there's a lot of different things out there and um, you know when you go to the hardware store it's kind of hard to pick out what's going to be good for your locks and your application. Um, two of the things that I really like is I really feel comfortable using this Teflon in just about any lock and then this, this because it's uh, it dries and so it leaves a, a, a layer or like a film of lubricant but it's not like a wax they took the wax out of this formula so it's just a thin layer of Teflon it coats everything and it dries for the most part um, it doesn't dry quite as much as this one um, but it doesn't it doesn't attract aggregate and uh, sand and dirt and debris it, uh, it it rejects that actually so this is great for um, most of your common locks um, for high security locks I like the 100% dry uh, lubricant right here. This is basically white um, Teflon and it's mixed with rubbing alcohol. You can smell it when you open it up. Uh, so it dries 100%, 100% dry to the touch. No oily film whatsoever. For high security, uh, when medical locks come out uh, from the factory, this is probably what they've been lubricated with. It's that white um, Teflon lubricant. So this is great for ASA, high security, all that stuff. Um, this is good for just your, your average uh, pin tumbler locks or um, wafer locks right here. Uh, there are other brands. You can go with an expensive Tri-Flow uh, or, or something to that effect. Um, but, you know, this is the same stuff as this right here. This stuff's about five or six bucks a can, uh, about five or six bucks a bottle or whatever it is. And Tri-Flow is about $13.99. Is the, I think the lowest I've seen it. It's pretty expensive. It's more than three times as expensive as this or this. Um, so for the money, uh, that's what I really like. Uh, one of the other things you can do as well is if you, if you do need to use uh, an oil-based lubricant or a penetrating lubricant, sometimes you come up to a lock and it's just been beat to death. It's got, you know, it's in a dusty, dirty environment where it's just getting tons of wind whipping you know dirt and and all kinds of things into that lock cylinder having a penetrating lubricant can be the beginning of your arsenal of attack on this lock because either you're trying to pick it or there's a problem with it um, and these are going to go in there and break down the material the rust or the calcification or uh, dirt and grime and they're going to break that stuff down and get things moving again allowing you to at least get the lock apart. Once you get it apart, then you can flush that out using a solvent, some brake clean. Um, you know, this is what I like to use. Flush that oily solvent out and then re-add your, your Teflon lubricants like this here. Um, some things like uh, um, safe locks or, or maybe uh, the internal mechanism of a mortise body lock uh, you will need like a grease and this is a really good lithium grease right here this stuff it's really light uh, it has an aerosol and it actually you can spray it into there and it's going to coat everything um, and it's going to attract less dirt than a, a more specific grease or oil based lubricant um, this is going to also last longer because this is a, a lithium grease it's going to go in there it's going to lubricate everything it's going to cover everything you'll cycle the lock cylinder a few times and then it's going to start to solidify and it's going to become a thin layer of grease on everything. Uh, some moving parts do require a little bit of grease to make them function. They're not going to, this would not be enough lubricant for that. It would wear off too quickly. Um, so this would be a great option for that too. Um, this is your basic lubricant stuff right here. Uh, like I said, high security, I keep this on for high security locks that have more moving parts and we keep this on for the regular stuff. So for more information, go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com. Click the subscribe button and we'll, you'll stay up to date on the latest and greatest in technology and the security industry. Thank you.